What other hormones are you looking to uh, optimize once testosterone has been optimized? What is the second thing you're looking at? What we do here in our clinic in, in Uckel in, in Brussels is we treat all the hormone deficiencies from the beginning. Okay. We might work in stages. So we don't try first testosterone. We try, if we do one treatment first, is thyroid treatment, the thyroid deficiency. But both thyroid and testosterone are two treatments that stimulate the whole endocrine system or almost the whole. So basically, by you, when you give testosterone, you have more growth hormone, you have more T3, the active thyroid hormone, uh, and you may have also more cortisol and DHA. And so what we start is, I would say, is thyroid and sex hormones. That's really the basic. So in females, it would be female hormones, estrogen and progesterone, and testosterone. We also give testosterone to women at a lower dose, but it's very, very efficient. Men like to have a woman they're proud of. And when we give injections once a month of testosterone, you can know that that man is going to be very proud of his wife. He's going to have a very dominant woman, but very brilliant. And so basically, it was a lot of libido. So basically, that worked well. So first, thyroid and uh, sex hormone. If there's, of course, thyroid deficiency and sex hormone deficiency, we are doing it very rigorous. We are not giving to everybody the same treatment. And then we also look at the adrenal hormones, not only DHEA, uh, but also cortisol, because we're not afraid of getting cortisol. If you don't have cortisol, we both are dead tomorrow. So if we have too little, we suffer. You suffer much more if you're low in cortisol, you're burned out, you're tired, you're, you cannot resist to stress. So we also give cortisol in physiological dose. That means acceptable doses that are safe. And then we give with DHA. We never give cortisol without DHA because it's, DHA is a protector hormone. Yeah. And we can give also um, aldosterone under a synthetic form because that's what we have in Belgium, it's fludocortisone. And we also can give then melatonin at night. So these are basic treatments. In a second stage or third stage, we can give growth hormone. I, I, have, I give consultations of two hours and I give all the hormones from the beginning, because that's those high VIP patients who come, they really want to have the best. And um, the growth hormone will make a big, big difference. If you're better with testosterone, growth hormone will go on a higher level. It will um, rejuvenate you more. You will have less fat, more muscle. Uh, typically, the people who are low in, in, in uh, uh growth hormone or have bowed back, uh, are anxious, uh, are tired all the time, exhausted. And when you give the hormones, they are like this. They feel fresh, they breathe well, they're more relaxed, and they're much more intelligent, can do multitasking. And studies have shown that the growth hormone can reverse atherosclerosis. We always think nothing can reverse. It does. And uh, so it's, it's really very interesting to see what all these hormones do in, and the red sex are, are really important. We also give hormones like vasopressin that, that you don't need Botox, eh? you know, you're, you're a dermatologist, but if you get vasopressin, desmopressin, all the little folds on the skin disappear. And the deep wrinkles, they are much less deep because there's water retention in the skin. Oxytocin, when you give oxytocin to your patient, he falls in love with you because that's the hormone of romantic love. Uh, uh, and, and, and you have much better relationships. But before, with a person who's low in oxytocin, I was a person low in oxytocin, I take now, uh, was cold, you know, like an autistic person and withdrawn, serious all the time. Life is too beautiful to live a serious life. So take oxytocin. Right. So if you change... If you give all those hormones um, at the same time, you start them all up and something is changing, how do you know what, what causes the changes? And if there's no, something wrong, a side effect, how do you know what's causing it? You're pointing on one thing important is don't do too much at the beginning if you don't know too much about it. But the thing is that every hormone deficiency or hormone excess is different. So you can know if you have several symptoms in one direction, if it's too low or too much oxytocin, too low or too much testosterone, too low or too much progesterone or whatever other hormone. So the physician needs to have a very good knowledge 
of the complaints and physical signs a person has when the hormone is too low or too high. And we have questionnaires at a consultation that very easily gives us an idea of what is happening. And when we correct what is that imbalance, it really works often wonder, wonderful. So it's not so difficult and it's much safer and more efficient to correct all the most important hormone deficiency first. Otherwise, there's an imbalance. If you give thyroid hormones to a woman in the postmenopause who's female hormone deficient, she will get more osteoporosis. But if you get the female hormones, there's no more osteoporosis. So it's better to give a balanced uh, treatment and just not say, I'm just giving one at a time. It's not always the best option. Then patient complaints, not happy, is in balance, get heartbeats and things like that. Mm. Better yeah, to okay. be careful. Consider becoming a channel member for exclusive features like loyalty badges, early access to new videos, funny stuff like rough cuts and bloopers, members only photos and status updates on the community tab and members only live stream chat. On desktop, use the join button next to the subscribe. On mobile, use the join link in the description.